Good morning, everyone. This is Tim, and I hope you're doing well. Another beautiful morning in New York. Uh, nice and brisk and uh, uh, not too bad. And uh, absolutely in full tourist mode, exploring all the great places in the city. Uh, really friendly people, great food, and wonderful sights as well. And I think today uh, I'm just waiting for my good friend, Michele, who's uh, taking pictures here and there. And we're even going to see Stephen Colbert, and that's uh, later in the afternoon. So pretty excited for that. But until then, I think we need a lot of food, a lot of energy. And a few days ago, Mish and I got a chance to visit a place called Russ and Daughters, their original store, wonderful locks and bagels. And there you see David slicing up those locks, nice and thin, hardworking folks toasting bagels left and right, and a little bit of salmon roll for the perfect bagel. And to top it off, a celery soda. And unfortunately, there isn't a place to eat in the deli. Uh, so we found a nice bench, shared a bagel or two, and enjoy. And I found out they actually have a cafe that's a couple of blocks away. And I can't wait to visit there right now. I hope you're hungry. Uh, thank you for joining. I'm just going to catch up with Micheli and uh, we'll be on our way for some wonderful locks and bagels and maybe a steak or two or three. Uh, and then, of course, Stephen Colbert. So, uh, until then, uh, I think we're just going to head over to the subway and uh, have a great uh, meal or two together. Uh, come on, let's go. Hey, Micheli. So after a quick ride on the subway and listening to the sounds of the city, I think we're almost there. It's just right up ahead. Thanks, Michelle. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, Brianna. Hey, Shelby. How are you? We're feeling a little bit cold. Can we get a table? Oh. Thanks, Brianna. All right, so nice to be out from the cold and uh, wonderful table from Brianna and uh, friendly faces. And uh, let me show you, we've got the menu right here. And the first thing that catches your eye, the caviar and the boards. So this is pretty interesting. You got different items here. The smoked salmon, sturgeon, smoked sable, and the kipper. I think can't decide, maybe we should order each and every one of these. Oh, I feel but you can get a platter where you can get almost anything. And that seems to be the more economical option and that's my story and uh, that's uh, what I'm sticking to. But uh, while we wait to order, let me show you the room around here. So really nice diner cafe feel. And over there you see the matzah. I think that's going to be for this wonderful soup and all the deli goodness here. Hey, Eric, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah. Oh, very good. Everything looks so good. Yeah, everything on the menu is amazing. It's just really hard to choose what you really want to do. Oh, thank you for the suggestions. You know, I think the platter might be a good idea. You want to go for a platter? So you get a little bit of everything or a lot of everything. So, like I mentioned, it's going to include a bread basket. All of the bread and bagels are going to be there. Tomato, capers, onions, yeah. cheese. And depending on which one you pick, uh, either the hat is going to include white fish and salmon and trout or all the salmon on the island. So I just have another question. Yeah. You usually don't toast the bread and bagels to come with it. That's what I the heard. The bagels are yeah, super fresh. So I think we're going to go for the original bagel, untoasted. We don't want to offend, not with uh, rust looking over us. So a, a lot of ordering and I can't wait. We really need a cup of coffee. Oh, a little cream here. A very full cup of coffee. Good morning to you. Oh, very nice. How is it? Nice and strong. And we'll take you back when the food comes. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a baseball size matzah. Oh my goodness. Here we're going to have a beautiful 
added platter. And like I mentioned, a bread basket is going to be included with any platters. So we, the bread basket is going to include three bagels. We're going to poppy seed everything. Bialy, which is a soft version of a bagel. Ah. When it comes to the bagels, they boil and then bake. So the bialy goes straight into the oven. It's a softer, more like a bread. Uh, we might have overdid it, but I think we've overdone it in a really, really wonderful way. And while Micheline is in the washroom, let me show you what we have. We have. A matzo ball soup that's at risk of getting cold. And then the wonderful salmon smoked. And then some salmon locks. The half sour, full sour, some dips and cream cheese, white fish. And this is my favorite from David back in the original store. This is the smoked sable. And this is uh, more dip. And of course, the basket of bread, the bagels, poppy seed, bialy. This is the challah bread and the pumpernickel and the rye. And if that wasn't enough, Micheli got an extra pumpernickel bagel. And welcome back. Your chicken matzo ball soup is at risk of getting cold. So it looks pretty good and you had a bit of sore throat. How is it? It's really good. So you had one at Cats. How is this compared to Cats? I prefer this one. It comes with chicken meat. Oh, chunks of chicken, chunks of chicken and nice and hearty. And some vegetables too. Well, let's try the pastrami here and see which one's better as well. But uh, before that, I think we better get started. <laughs> so I've never had a Bialy, but I think we're going to give this a try. Oh, I wonder if there's something inside on purpose or by accident. But no matter which way, it's all good. I think what I'm going to do is make a bagel here and split this with Micheli. And that way we can have little bits and bites of everything. Let's see, maybe a little bit of spread. I think this is the cream cheese with chives. And I think let's butter the top. What they call a schmear. Schmear number one. And schmear number two. I think we better start with a little bit of the locks. Okay. This is wonderful. A little bit of everything. Sable fish. This was one of the sandwiches, or this was one of the bagels that we had at the original store. But I think David does a far superior job. Tomato, red onion number one. And red onion number two. Lost a bit of the dill. Okay, and I realize this is upside down, but that's okay. All right. Here you go. Thank you. Did I cut it through? Almost. Let's give it a pull. There we go. All right. All right. Looking really good. Cheers. All right, cheers to you. Oh. Absolutely divine. The salmon is smoky and sweet and fresh. And that wonderful smoked sable fish just adds so much depth of flavor. And just when it's too much flavor, you've got that tomato and the dill to bring some freshness. And this Bialy, much more lighter and fluffier than the traditional bagel. Very nice. Mm. Very good. And I can see Micheli enjoying this as well. Very good. Mm. A perfect start to the morning. And I can't wait to show you some of the other items here. And just in case you're wondering if you can eat the skin. As Micheli finds out, you cannot. So really nice to have a half sour to cut all that richness. So there's still a couple of things on the plate we haven't tried. The um, baked salmon. So. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own creation. Michelle is going to make her own creation and we'll share and we'll split it up to see how each other has done. And I think I'm going to start mine with the halal bread. So with the hala, I think I'm going to try the new spread that Eric has brought over. This is the goat spread. 
Okay. And then uh, let's do generous with the goat uh, cream cheese. Okay. That is a healthy spread. Schmear, as they say. This time I'm going to go for the kippered baked salmon. And Mish, I see you're using a pumpernickel. Yes. All right. All right. So I'm going to get one of this here. Oh, it just flakes off here. All right. Piece number one. And I lost a little bit over here, but that's okay. There's the 128 second rule. And as we found out earlier, don't eat the skin. That looks like a healthy amount. And I can't get enough of these juicy tomatoes making a mess, but that's okay. And just to make sure everything is tied together, we're gonna get the Nova Scotia salmon as a nice blanket of security to tie everything up. And we'll give that a cut. Diagonally. All right. Mish? Okay. How is your creation doing? <laughs> I can't wait to give this a try. Oh. Light and cakey and full of that sweetness and smokiness of the salmon and that tangy goat cream cheese just opens the appetite and two different types of salmon can't imagine anything better mm. but i think we have to see what mishtilga is doing with her creation Mish, what are your favorites uh, the pickled salmon and that smoked oh thank you thank you oh these open face bagels are absolutely essential when you have so much. Cheers to you. Mm. Very nice. And also a bit messy with the capers, but that's the wonderful thing about making a mess. A tasty one indeed. So a little bit of the salmon, the cooked salmon with the sable. Really nice contrast and textures. Mm. Very nice. And I think we've tried everything here. And I think that's pretty much it. I think this is too much. So we're going to wrap this up. And uh, we'll see what we have for dessert. Oh, and I see more coming. So we got some salmon roll here and some wasabi roll. You know what? I think we're just going to go for another round. Cheers. All right. So I think this is going to be the final round. And since we have the fish roll, I think I'm going to do a medley of all this wonderful fish, uh, an all-dressed uh, pincho, as they say. So let's start off with a little bit of butter, or a lot. Let's see. I think that is a healthy smear. Some white fish under the skin. Remove the olives, and we have that luscious fatty belly, and I'm just going to mix all this up together. A bottom layer of the white fish, really piling it up, and then the salmon roe. Okay. Oh, and I remember David doing this at the original cafe. And he was really piling it up there. And I think we have some wasabi row as well. And this is like Christmas colors, or I guess in this case, Hanukkah colors, I think. Ooh, and smell that. And to keep everything together, a little bit of salmon. Okay. And we'll drape it all over the top to keep all that goodness inside. Looking pretty good. All right. Okay. Mm. Okay, Mish. There you go. And that salmon nicely protects all the goodness inside. Cheers to you. 
and to you. Oh. Okay. Just like the same. Okay. Rye is nice and soft. Good salmon. And those little eggs uh, with pops of nice salmon roe and wasabi roe, really nice. Mm. Well, I think this is definitely the last round. Mish, what do you think? This rye bread's really good. Mm. Better than cats? It's very herby. Mm. So really enjoyable, and we had lots of selections here. And if you were to come here and you're not sure what to order, uh, I would suggest the sable and the salmon lox, two of the favorites. A little bit of roe would be great, but really fantastic time here. Really great folks. Eric, uh, while we we're eating, was uh, uh, touting all the great desserts, but I think uh, we're going to finish this off and uh, maybe dessert for next time. I don't think we have room. Cheers. So obviously, this isn't the end of the meal. Great egg cream. Let's give this a try. Mm. Very good. And Eric convinced us to go for dessert. And thankfully, with Micheli here, another person, there's no chance of ordering too much because we can finish twice as much. And I think we can see the desserts coming. Oh. Thank you. So this is looking pretty good and so glad I have Micheli here and I wish you were here as well. But let me show you what we have. Eric was raving about the honey cake with some ice cream. And here we have the cinnamon babka, French toast style. Let's dig in. Okay, so I think we need to go for this first. All right, here you go. And here I go. Let's give it a try. Soft custard and an even softer honey cake. I wish you can smell this. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Perfect way to cap off a meal. That honey cake is crumbly and moist, warming spices, and that ice cream cools it down wonderfully. Oh. Very nice. And as good as the honey cake is, that cinnamon babka is looking really good. Let's give that a try. So apple and cinnamon, the best combination. Here you go. One for Micheli, and this one is for me. And that one is for you. And I think that is some sour cream or cream cheese. Let's give this a try. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. Let's see, I think this is a knife and fork type of dessert. A little bit of applesauce and some cream. Feels like a latka. Mm. Mm. That is like the best French toast ever. Hey, Mish, what do you think? It is like a combination of French toast and cinnamon roll. That cinnamon French toast, so flavorful and soft and light. Perfect French toast and a little bit of cream. Wonderful. Mm. Very good. Get the cinnamon French toast or the babka. So this is Russ and Daughter Cafe Edition. Fantastic folks here. Shelby, Bianca, and of course, Eric with his endless recommendations. What a great way to spend the morning or afternoon or evening. Uh, and I can't wait to check out all the great sights and sounds of New York from Times Square to Radio City Music Hall. I think this has given us enough energy for the rest of the day to visit our good friend Stephen Colbert and hopefully we'll catch the show but for now, thank you so much for joining. We need a little bit of coffee. And thank you so much for joining. And until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well. Take care of each other and God bless. Cheers. As good as the coffee is, I think the egg cream is better. Sorry, Mish, and cheers to you.
Mm. Very nice. 